Hi there, guys. It's me, Ms. Mason, and I have a book for you. This is called Not Quite Narwhal, and it's by Jesse Seema, and it is published by Scholastic, who has given me permission to read it to you. So, Not Quite Narwhal. Not Quite Narwhal. Kelp was born deep in the ocean. He knew early on that he was different from the other narwhals. His tusk wasn't as long as everyone else's. He had different tastes in food, and he wasn't a very good swimmer. But his friends didn't seem to mind, so Kelp decided he wouldn't either. That is, until he was swept away by a strong current. I wish I were a better swimmer! Kelp found himself at the surface, closer to land than he'd ever been before. High up on a cliff, he spotted a mysterious, sparkling creature. It looked so familiar. It looked like kelp! Kelp swam toward land as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that he could catch up with the creature that looked just like him. When he finally reached the shore, Kelp felt a little bit anxious. He had never left the ocean. He was nervous about walking for the first time, but the land creatures made it look so easy. Oof! It wasn't. Oof! Ow! Eventually, he got the hang of it. So first he tries to walk like a crab, sideways. Then he tried to leap like a frog. <laughs> and then he tried walking like a turtle. Everything on land was strange and beautiful, but also kind of scary. Kelp began to think he might never find the creature that looked just like him, but as he stumbled out of the forest, hmm... Land narwhals! Actually, we're unicorns, and by the looks of it, so are you. Kelp had never heard of unicorns before. They taught him all sorts of new things about his tusk. We call them horns. Wow! They introduced him to unicorn delicacies. Unicorns! and they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was, in fact, a unicorn. He was having so much fun that he didn't want to leave. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea. Kelp missed them terribly, so he said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. Come back soon! Kelp swam toward home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that the narwhals would still like him now that he was a unicorn. When he finally arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. Welcome home, Kelp! Kelp took a deep breath and told his friends the news. It turns out I'm not a narwhal. Of course you aren't. I'm a unicorn. We all knew that. They took it quite well. <laughs> Kelp was happy to be home, but now that he'd experienced life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Did he want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns? 
or a sea unicorn with the narwhals? Kelp couldn't decide. But then he realized that maybe... Just maybe... He didn't have to choose. Well, look at all the narwhals in the ocean and the unicorns on land. You can see kelp underneath the rainbow. Roasting marshmallows by the campfire, having unicorns. Look at this guy down here making a narwhal, making a sand castle, playing beach volleyball, floating, flying a kite. Look at their little tubes leaping through the water, <laughs> sitting on a chair. I'm a unicorn. Um, <laughs> and that is the end of Narwhal. Not quite Narwhal. I hope you enjoyed this book, guys. See you later. Bye.